What's up, guys? Let's get on with another episode of Odin Sphere. Uh, let's see, where did we. Queen Mercedes, I'm glad we could meet. I had no idea that Melvin had already convinced the sorcerer to join him. Your Majesty, this is serious. Melvin has seized political power, and the palace is in disarray. Everyone fears his Shadow Knight, and some have fled. Melvin needs to get slapped. Please rest assured, everyone here is loyal to you, Your Majesty. What can I do with so few people, though? He always seemed like a bit of a creep right from the beginning. This revolt was a deliberate uprising. Melvin's too shrewd. He must have been planning this back when Queen Elfaria was still alive. Yeah, that sounds about right. He always had a shifty kind of look to him. Please stay hopeful, Queen Mercedes. We have captured some of the dissidents, but others have fled. I am certain that others will join our forces. I hope so. We're gonna have to fight him and uh, kill him. I've never seen so many fairies all together. It's like a dream. Well, you are. Is it a fairy forest? I don't know. No, this uh, this forest isn't the fairy forest, but yeah. All right, where are we going? Fairyland, forest of Elrit. Half the nobles of Ringford support Melvin, and the other half is undecided. Melvin has occupied the palace and is sending troops to capture the queen. Though we are few, we are soldiers who are loyal to Queen Alfaria's daughter. It seems that some have locked themselves into a wing of the palace to fight. Can anyone do anything? Please, do something! Man. So spoiled. Yeah, she is. She's moaning. You always assume that somebody will come along to take care of things for you. This will be difficult if you want to be queen. You must take the lead, or no one will follow. Frog, you're... <sighs> you're exactly right. There we go. I will return to the palace. Those who will fight alongside me, come on! The frog had a point and she saw it. She can't uh, keep acting like a little girl anymore. She's got responsibilities. We've got responsibilities. Alright, so we're gonna have to fight through our kingdom and uh, get rid of Melvin, the treacherous scum, and uh, that wise man that's with him. Should be a piece of cake. That's the first stage clear. Um, as with all a few episodes past and future episodes, I won't be like showing every single stage of uh, each chapter because, to be honest, you know, you've seen one, you've seen them all, really. So I'll probably just do like one normal stage and like one mini boss stage before. You know, just cutting to the end boss because one the the files, uh, sorry, not the file, the um, the length of the videos get kind of long for no real reason. So you know, just trying to cut down on it a bit. You don't really miss much, to be honest. Here we have uh, sub boss, the crazy horse knight guy. Come alive from a giant chessboard. It shouldn't. If you're playing along uh, with me, that's fine. You shouldn't really have, you know, any trouble with these stages at this point in the game. It's the third book, you know, and this is, as I said before, this is one of the easiest characters in the game. I mean, look at this. Uh, they, they can hardly touch me. At least the. Uh, the knight can hardly touch me when I'm flying. 
It's kind of ridiculous. Easy. And it, again, if you keep finding yourself having trouble with this, with any particular stage or maybe a boss or mini boss, usually what will sort that out is to just go back to past levels and kind of uh, grind it out. And by grind it out, I mean kill monsters over and over and over and over again to uh, collect phosons to increase your attack power. And not only that, but if you want, you can collect ingredients to cook and get your HP level real quick. I mean, when you start cooking food, it it can be it, your HP level grows very significantly, uh, very fast. But to be honest, uh, I don't think HP is that much of a big deal. I think it's a lot more important to get your attack power up. So just keep. Uh, collecting foes onto for your weapon because once your attack power goes up significantly, it's you know a walk in the park. You can, you you can be very reckless uh, as long as you kill the enemy before it kills you. Um, but even so, like if you have a decent amount of health, then you just got to kind of watch what you do. You know, just try and avoid what you can, and if your attack power is you know, high enough, you will destroy the enemy. The fights will, won't last long, that's for sure. And to be honest, that's kind of what I like. Let's see. Plant some stuff. Always good to plant your seeds at the end of a level and uh, stock up on some food if you don't have any. Hey, not bad. Let's see here. Yeah, uh, we got a oh, new recipe. Good for the kitchen. Now these, uh, if you didn't know, when you when you get recipes for that kind of stuff, you can use it at the Puka Village. Uh, to get to the Puka Village, you just uh, when you go to your home base or of whatever the home may be for the specific chapter you're on, just you know press start and select home. And there should be a Puka with a teleport next to him, and you just talk to him, and then you go through the portal next to him, and it will take you to the Puka village, and that's where you can do all your cooking. There we go, a nice level up. Uh, because I won't be showing everything, and I will be cutting to the last boss, um, you will see my levels, like my HP levels and my Cypher levels, jump significantly. That's because I have been leveling off screen and I don't want to bore you with that. So you should thank me, really. Alright, let's see what's going on here. Melvin. Quite the spectacle. Time to die. You are totally surrounded. It is only a matter of time until your small number of allies have been repelled. Give it up. You are no leader. Once I become the king, and if you choose to obey me, I shall allow you to live as I am a man indebted to the former queen. I refuse. Then I have no choice. Lord Milk! What is it? It... it's a frog. I don't understand it. That disgusting creature appeared in the palace and the troops are disoriented. Oh, I can't rely on you for anything. Tis useless to try to figure out what I have done. That jeweled bone that you hold is extremely powerful. But be warned, you are not the only one who wields a cipher. Oswald! Uh oh. Why not test the Belderiver? On the Queen herself. Typical Melvin can't even fight his own battles. But yes, here we go. We have to fight Oswald Cobblepot. Yeah, Oswald. Um. 
this fight can be extremely annoying if you uh, are very low on your cipher levels. The reason being is because you see these fairies? One of these, this fairy in particular, with the short hair, the mage, she heals either herself or Oswald. And if you let her get a heal off, she heals him to full. So you could, uh, you know, get him down to, or, you know, half HP or even further and almost kill him. But if you mess up and you don't kill that fairy quick enough, she will heal him to full. And that can be really, really annoying. So uh, I suggest you get your cipher level up enough that this fairy here, you can kill her as quick as possible because that is the key to this fight. Every time she is alive, you kill her. See that other one with the long head, the one with the archer with the bow? She, you can just leave her alone, ignore her. She doesn't really do much. It's just the other one that needs to be killed ASAP. So, you know, you um, kill her, then you damage him again, run away, damage him, kill her, rinse and repeat. And it's hard to run away from him when he's uh, in that shadow form. He leaps like crazy. But uh, I did level up before entering this fight, so uh, my cipher level is at 15 right now. More than enough to, to handle him, it's pretty easy. And that's gonna be it. Bam. Good night. Alright, enjoy the story and I'll see you next episode. Your Majesty, the rebellion has been suppressed. Where is Melvin? He fought to the end, and he has returned to the heavens. Someone reported seeing his Shadow Knight being taken by Aholia. I see. Hey! <sighs> Don't kill the frogs here. They're really fairy soldiers. This medicine will return them to normal. Did you change Melvin's soldiers into frogs? Yes, I slipped a little transformation potion into their drinks. Well, now that your reinforcements have arrived, it's time for your promise. As you see, I am a frog now, but I was originally human. However, it seems my curse is slightly different. I've tried already, but that potion won't cure me. As far as I know, a kiss from a powerful fairy is able to break a spell of this type. You are fairy royalty, so I assume you are powerful. What? So... That's my wish. <laughs> what? Uh... I can't. I can't put my lips on a slimy, poisonous frog. Can the Queen of the Fairies go back on her word? I, I need to prepare myself. Just give me some time. <laughs> 